Hey guys, Zuljan here and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Hope you guys are doing well. And uh, just got finished with a little raid, getting some crops together. I'm starting to get my grind on for the spud gun. And I, uh, I refined my design of the bike a little bit yesterday. It's actually not a bike anymore, it's a trike. Uh, for those of you that suggested different things, thank y'all so much, by the way. It really helped me kind of troubleshoot and brainstorm. And I did change the angles of the balancing to go down, but it was either overbalanced or underbalanced, and I couldn't really get it to where it was really, really consistent. I also changed the way that the steering uh, worked. So it actually pivots on the front instead of the back. And I gotta say, it's a little bit more responsive and reliable than it was, but still not really perfect. As far as a joyriding vehicle, it does what it's supposed to do. Uh, now that it's daytime, we can, we can take a little ride to show you, but I'll do that in a little bit. What I wanna do today is just work on the aesthetics of the base. Not gonna be any real engineering marvels to see today, but there's a couple things that I want to do. So first of all, I'd like to get rails established all around and I want to make them out of a little bit of a different material. Honestly, I thought about traps and I did experiment a little bit. I actually had recorded some stuff earlier, but it turns out that I had a um, an issue with my microphone that I hadn't seen about and the audio did just not pick up. So I kind of scrapped my progress just so that um, just so that you guys wouldn't miss anything. And we'll experiment with that a little bit today. But I want to build an elevator, first of all, because getting up and down with this seat is nice. But it's kind of janky and I'd like to start working towards a little bit of improvement. So the first thing that we're going to do is just get an elevator set. Uh, it's going to be a real, real simple deal. It's going to be a piston elevator. Uh, there are some other designs that I've worked on before years ago that bring you up much higher. Uh, but just because we need to get up here for our little work area, it doesn't need to be much. So I think what I'm going to start off by doing is just taking a bit of the materials that I have and turning this into like a base for a piston. So what I want to do here is, I don't know, I think I want, it doesn't have to be real big and I'm starting to run low on this rusted metal stuff. So um, I think that is going to be good right there. Let's get up here and now I can eliminate this space. And that should work pretty good, honestly. Let's do that, that way it's sealed in. And honestly, I just, I just need to come up. This is That's all I need to do. So this can be recessed into the floor or it can stick up a little bit. And I don't mind it sticking up a little bit. So I think what I'm gonna do is just put a piston down right here. And if I put a piston down, what you're gonna notice right away is that, well, it we're gonna have an issue with the limit on it. But if you put a controller on it, it's not really a limit. So let's put a platform down. I thought we would use this stuff right here. It doesn't have to be directly in the center, by the way. It's it's good like this. All right, and will I have enough blocks to, to make this thing happen? Not really, huh? I'm probably gonna have to rip off from my uh, my other little deal. I, I haven't collected a whole bunch of these. I need to go looting again, but a bunch of the places that I'd like to access are either too far or too high up. Like on the warehouses, there's a lot of that stuff that I could get up top, uh, but it's to get up there and I don't have a warehouse key or, or anything like that yet. So it's gonna be a little while before I get to there. I did manage to trap a bot the other day, one of the boss bots on a tree. And I tried to kill him, but I couldn't kill him with my hammer. So I'm not really sure <laughs> what you do. Maybe they're only susceptible to the spud gun thing now. I'm really not sure. But at any rate, let's uh, let's let's take let's dismantle this a little bit. Let's see. I should be able to take just a few pieces right here. I think all I lost was a button there. I'll just place that back so that I have room in my inventory. There we go. And we'll just finish up. See how I'm just jumping off and on and I don't know, it's kind of a ghetto setup and I'm ready to I'm ready to make it a little bit better. All right. Let's do that and oh, we're one short. You got to be kidding me. Freaking counting, man. Bam. Done. All right. 
we've got our one block and now it's set up so uh the piston we're going to need to connect to a controller and the controller can actually be on here it's it's not going to be a big deal i think this has to go up probably about 10 or 11 i didn't really count but let's just put the controller down right now and i should have kept that switch honestly that's what i needed to do let's move let's just connect it and see how high we have to go and how far out that we have to go um i don't know let's put the starting position at 13 and see what happens here 13 gets me right where i want to be actually <laughs> okay so the platform needs to be a little bit bigger as well and i want to i think i want to power this with a sensor i think that's what i want to do um so let's let me let me take this down all together this little wall of things because honestly it was just stored to it was just used to store some components and it's it's not that bad also i want to do some replanting but carrots i won't need and let me just go ahead and put the water and the embers back here because i was doing some metal stuff there we go that'll give me a little bit of room and i'll put some blocks up as well and last but not least i'm just gonna put up these robot heads i don't know why i'm collecting these things but i just am okay <laughs> all right so now that i got a little bit of room to work with let's go ahead and pick these up and the buckets can stay the light i'm gonna install somewhere probably on this thing to tell you the truth so let's see here if we were to extend this out by that much And yeah, we we need to go one more up. So it needs to be 14, one from the top. There we go. So if I were to take this controller and put it on here, it could be a part of the build to tell you the truth. Let's just do it like that. There we go. Actually, it can be under the build too if we wanted to under the build seems like it would be really really cool um the only thing is that we really need to connect it first can we just connect it to a switch right now that way we can just lift it and get underneath it i think that'll work pretty good boom and it's not a whole lot but it's enough to access it let's go up to seven here so we can get underneath it and if we just put our two back right here and the controller can be put right there and it goes back down yeah <laughs> i like it i like it i like it i like it um i do have some extra pieces here so i could cover this up if i wanted to just so it's it's out of sight let's see like That's pretty good. Now it just looks like a little bracket, you know? I like it. All right. So we need some rails on this thing as well. And I think the fence that we collected a little while back would work pretty good. And some of this ex extruded metal. I plan on using some of this for the trim that I want to try out today too. So if we were to take like these and just like that, well, not like that. <laughs> just like that make it three high yeah that looks pretty good and all we'd have to do is run our fence we don't want the fence right there we want the fence right here though there we go and maybe maybe we put a little bit of fence right here and one more post how about yeah, that's 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 aesthetically pleasing enough, I do believe. Uh, I think that's pretty good. Okay, so we would just get up on here and we can have a sensor that would just lift us, I think. That would be pretty cool. So for now, let's we'll be able to hook this controller to well, this to the controller and then put a switch for now just so we can adjust the controller and uh, 
Well, that did not work out at all. I think what we're going to need to do is adjust the controller first so that it actually lifts. There we go. So let's adjust the controller and we'll put the, well, it has to be connected, doesn't it? Hmm. What we can do for now, no, I'm going to need an access point. That's the only way I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to have to access it from underneath, which isn't going to be a problem. Uh, okay. So let's hit the switch, disconnect it. <laughs> I realize I'm all over the place here, you guys, but it's, it's difficult, you know? Okay. And now we can go underneath and actually set it to what we want. And we still haven't wired it to a sensor yet, but it should be fine. Okay. So yeah, I can access it now. So we wanted it to be 14. Yeah. And that'll be on the first one. So now, oh my gosh, it's so glitchy when you swim in third person like that. So now it'll go up by 14 and it should lock exactly where we want it. That's cool. The only thing that we need to do now though is change the speed at which it moves. And because this is the controller setup, we have the speed kind of tied into an upgraded controller so we don't have to upgrade the piston. It works pretty well. I like it like that because now we don't have to upgrade two things. We just have to upgrade one. Now the only thing I'd like to do, I believe, is set up a sensor. So honestly, if we get right here and the sensor would go off, then it can control the elevator. And I think that's what we'd want because once we get up, mm hmm, wait. We would we would have to have a sensor on both sides, maybe that way and and maybe a logic gate because the 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 elevator would be stuck down. Not that it's hard to actually fall down or whatever, but we want a nice setup, right? So let's take let's make let's make a couple of sensors and a logic gate and see what we could come up with here. All right, we got the logic gate and the two sensors made up. Let's see what happens if we just connect one of the sensors right there. We connect it to the controller and we put the range to be up to four. I don't know. We'll put a sound on it too. And it will be set as button, not switch. Or if we set it to switch, actually. Oh, I kind of fell off. <laughs> All right. Um, hold on. Button. There we go. So it's a little bit close. See, it kind of knocks me off. Okay, what I need to do is move this. And I think right here will be fine. So, if we take it now and connect it. And change it to switch. And the range, I'll put four. So, if we get in front of it, the elevator will go up. And let's just eliminate... Oh... Let's just eliminate this, this, and this. I, I guess it maybe detected that motion. And we get off of it, and that's it. So when we go back on it, yeah, we didn't even need the logic gate. It just detects the switch as soon as we get in front of it. Yeah, that works out pretty darn good. And look, the handrails kind of match up like that. That's, that's neat, the way it works. Okay, so the elevator is done. Now, honestly, that's just to get up and down right here. And I like that and stuff. I wish it would be one more recess, but it doesn't really matter. Having this set up like that is just fine with me. Uh, I think that I'd like something to do with the outside of the base now, just to make it kind of pretty. Since I don't need the other sensor and the logic uh, gate, maybe we'll do something else with it later. Also, the only other thing that I can think of that I like here maybe is a little bit of light and the way that I have the aesthetic for this is not real great for it. But what we can do is like. Hmm, maybe we'll put those back. I was thinking I was thinking that we would put it. Um, we would put it width wise like this, but it's not on center because this thing is actually four wide. So let's actually put this back. And let's zoom in here so I can see what I'm doing. And I'll go with one, two, three, four, just like that. We'll put the light in now. Is it four or five? Maybe it's even longer than that. It looks like it is four. 
Ah, there it went. There it went. I want it to be facing up, though. Like that. I think that's that's pretty good. Does it does it show the light now? I'm gonna have to dye it some different colors and stuff. Let me just look at it from down here. Yeah, it uh, it works. <laughs> it works. Yeah, this I'm not really really happy with. I really wish it was recess altogether, but if it was recess anymore, I, I don't know. I kind of I kind of like the way it's set up right now. It's 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 fine. Yeah, it work it works okay. I'm all right with that. All right, so uh, I think I'm gonna wait until daytime, and we're gonna do some aesthetic work here. So just like this, I really like the look of the the silver fence with the the mesh. So I'm thinking what I can do is just extend a few of these here and there and I can count the spaces and kind of kind of figure out what I like but three three seems pretty good I don't know how far my fence will stretch but I'll put some more braces on it too like some poles here and there actually you know what I'm gonna probably do it at the length so we'll, we'll go as much length as it'll give us and then three high and then a pole and stretch it just like that around and boom kind of looks like a uh, an oil rig <laughs> it's starting to kind of look like an oil rig i don't know if i'm gonna have enough fence to do this in fact i'm pretty sure i won't to go all the way around but it's a uh it's a nice backdrop for this side for sure and there we go it came out just a little bit longer but that's okay <laughs> i kind of like that so the the getting it over here would be really nice too but I'm really, I'm, I'm determined to make some sort of traps and um, something to keep the mobs away. What I've been noticing is that the robots seem to come from this side all the time. So I think the path of least resistance is what they'll take, but I'm not really, really sure yet. I'm going to run uh, some of this fence on this side too and see how far I can go with it. And unfortunately, that's as far as I can go with it. Oh man, it was starting to come together so very well and i'm definitely out of fence so maybe <laughs> maybe we ought to rethink a little bit of this what if i were to take the top row of all of this just to compensate for the blocks that i don't have right now sometimes you gotta just work with the designs you're given you know or the the materials that are given and i did not want to do that let's put that extruded block right back on top and uh, Boom. All right. Now what happens if I reel this off? Just like that. I think I like it better, actually. <laughs> I'm not positive, but I do think I like it better. And I do have enough to make it happen like that. Hmm. Some Even without the fence, might it be be okay altogether too let me just do what i'm doing right here finish this up and i am going to take the rest i'm going to take that other side and just build rail for it and see how it looks without the mesh like this and one more out i still have a little bit of extruded metal left even though it is getting a little low and that's just the railing without the mesh I don't know. <laughs> I kind of like the mesh better, to tell you the truth. The mesh just gives it a, I don't know, a more industrial look. It's hard to explain, but I do like it. Although I'm out, so I won't be able to do that side even though I want to. But let's see. We could probably just meet in the middle right here just so it looks a little bit balanced. And I don't know, that's about the middle, right? No. <laughs> let's go one more. Uh oh. I kind of messed up right there. Wait, where's my block? I'm low on these. You can't, you can't, you can't be doing that to me. Okay. And we can't just go up on any rail anymore. So that's also a potential complication. Let's finish this up then. All right. And we put the extruded metal like right there. And we should be able to fence that in. Hey, not too bad. 
not too bad i think i'll be able to get like just this little bit too hmm let me let me move my car i'm gonna need a little garage guys that's another thing i don't i just don't know what i want to do yet in order to keep it safe it kind of needs to be underwater so maybe a submerging garage in this deeper part of the water over here might be kind of neat i don't know we need some more mesh though man we're gonna have to go looting but getting up into those warehouses like on top that's that's where it's gonna come down to man that's where it's gonna come down i honestly don't have nearly enough of this mesh but you know the fence is relatively easy to find because it's just on those um oh what do you call those like little fruit stands so maybe we'll maybe we'll ride out there and see if we can collect some fence after I put some stuff up. All right, now I get to show y'all how this rides. Y'all ready? Wait, let me let me hit my little button real quick. And get my drawbridge going on. There we go. So it's a little bit better. It's it's considerably wider too. <laughs> considerably wider. All right, let's just close this off. beautiful all right and away we go and we got plenty of gas too i kind of upped my collection rates a little bit too you guys um there's some articles that are floating around there about how to increase your harvest rates for things like oil and gas so um when you when you make um well when you harvest all you know how you get one oil per node well you can actually get whoa <laughs> you can, wow <laughs> You can actually get, uh, man, I took a tumble there. Good Lord. You can actually adjust it to whatever you want. So right now, I have them to where they're giving away five. Five each time. And it's been helping me with the gas situation, too. Here we go, baby. We gonna get into the mother load right here. All right. I already messed around here a little bit, but I never grabbed a lot of the materials that are over here. Let me beat this guy up, grab his little stuff. What, what kind of fence supplies can we get over there? Okay, so right now we have seven fence, all right? Let's just, let's just take a little inventory after we harvest all of this stuff through the night. So all in all, I think I got all of the mesh left that was there, and I got almost two full stacks, almost, um, well, right at 450 or so of it. So that's a, uh, that's a pretty good haul just for not traveling that far i can i can honestly go around looking for more of these things but this should be enough mesh blocks to do what i want to do back at the base ain't gonna lie man it looks good at night i need to put a few more lights on it and stuff but this looks really really good um i'm thinking that i need to take a little bit of that extruded metal and set it up right there too because it's showing like it 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 looks like it wants some help <laughs> you know all right i uh, picked up a few lights we should be good i'm gonna be able to install them here and there too so let's do this and this and uh, let's just finish this off with metal nice now i just need to put a few lights up and i think i'm gonna start off by putting some on the corners right here I hope the bots don't break them all. Uh, they, it's such, it's so weird, but they kind of stick out. And this because they're too wide. I guess sticking out like that would be better. And this is pretty well lit up now. Let's get it on this corner too. And. Finally, this corner. And we haven't stretched the uh, the extruded metal and the fence yet on this side, but we'll be able to. Let's do that now. Yeah, with some to boot too. Very, very, very nice. Got, that looks a heck of a lot more secure. Should we make it come out a little bit further, I'm wondering? We do have the stuff for it. Let's do it. All right, last bit of extruded metal down. Now, for this, I kind of had to go on the outside. I don't know, it's weird. I can easily extend it, but I, I'm a little low on metal here, so I might just wait. And what we want to do is mesh, mesh, 
mesh. Yeah, I am gonna have to extend it out here. Let's let's just extend it out with extruded right here. It's not gonna hurt. We have we have plenty of it, and we already know we need to go harvesting mad resources to finish this out, like we'd like to. But look at that. Look at that. Just enough, like 40 off of it, and let's see how that looks. Oh, it's <laughs> it's starting to look like a base, y'all. <laughs> it's starting to look like a base, I ain't gonna lie. I need a few more lights that I harvested, but I'm out, man. I'm out of those lights. Oh, but it's so nice. It's getting there, but it's getting there. Guys, that is gonna be it for today. I hope y'all enjoyed the episode. I'm still gonna have to mess around with this uh, this sensor deal. I might put an XOR uh, gate down here. But anyway, guys, I hope y'all really enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dap on that like button and show your support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.